friends and welcome to the Rocky Mountain Crafter. I am so very thankful that you are joining me today. Today I'm going to use this background that I have made with Lindy's Stamp Gang squirt and sprays. I did two backgrounds and of the two I chose my favorite for another project and this was the one that I did not choose. So I want to use it today. I've already made the majority of this background. I do see that I have some white parts on here that I want to fill in. And I have this dark part over here, but if I was to cut that off, that would be too small. So we're going to do something to cover that up. And I'm going to use the same colors that I used before. So I used Lindy's Gang Opal Sea Oats for the brown on the bottom. And I used Looney Toonie Teal for the teal on the top, but the Looney Toonie Teal is actually a squirt and this is what a squirt looks like. I just switched the two nozzles. This one here was originally a spray, but I want the Looney Toonie Teal to be a squirt, so I just switched the nozzle, or a spray, so I just switched the nozzles. But we do need to give them a good shake because as you can see, I haven't shaken this one yet and all of the good stuff, the glitter, stays in the bottom. So we're going to shake it up and get that glitter activated throughout the whole thing. And same with the opal sea oats. You can see all the beautiful glitter there in the bottom. So let's give these both a really good shake. And then I'm going to just spray onto the We Are, it's a We Are Memory Keepers mat. It's actually, they've changed their name now. They are We Are Makers. This is a magnetic mat, so this is a magnetic, magnetic ruler that it comes with, and it comes with magnets. So I'm just going to spray, this is metal with a, a coating on it. And if I spray on here, it will be water resistant, so the spray will just stay on top. Okay, I think that's good for the Gucci sand color. Just need a tiny little bit. So I don't want to ruin this. I'm worried that if I put this in, it's going to look really, really different than what I have here. And I really don't want to ruin it any. So I'm just going to be very, uh, I'm going to spread it out a little bit, maybe even add some water to it. So let's just take a small paintbrush here. Just want to spread that out a little bit. Okay, spread that out. And then all I want to do, all I want to do is get a little, you know what? For that spot, it's so small. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna paint it because it's so small. That's it. I don't want to wreck it. <laughs> okay. Now this spot here. Maybe by adding some more brown to it, it'll draw some more interest to it. So let's give it a whirl, see what we get. That's coming along nicely. Another little spot in there. And then there's just one tiny little spot I see. I'll just move it along there. There we go. I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful gold in there. It's beautiful. All right, now we'll just clean this up. It should clean up pretty nicely with a baby wipe, which I couldn't find a baby wipe, so I'm just gonna take a piece of wet paper towel and wipe that up. I have not replenished my stock of baby wipes. Now with my heat tool, I'm going to set I'm going to use my magnet to hold that down and set these colors. I'm just going to give that a little dry with the heat tool. I really like that gold in there that it left. It left a lot of gold sparkle. It's beautiful. It adds a lot of interest. Beautiful that is. Oh, that is gorgeous. You know what? That adds so much interest there that I think I want that for a lot of the bottom of this card. So I'm going to repeat that process. Let's just give this another spray here. We'll do a couple sprays. So 
Let's try it up here. I think I'm gonna to try to focus on this area down here so that I don't get any big gloopy spots. But we're just gonna run this right through that gold there just on the bottom and on this one side over here that didn't have any. There we go. Maybe just a little bit more down in that corner there, but maybe over here. Okay, alrighty. So this is leaving some nice gold, beautiful gold in here. So now I will take that paper towel and clean that up again. This time I'm gonna put my ruler up here. Right. All right, now that left a lot of beautiful gold sparkle and speckle and oh, just deliciousness down there. Look at that. Oh, I love it. And I even got a little bit up here into the ocean, which adds interest. Now I'm going to use this die cut set by Spellbinders. And it's a beach die with this back of this lady with her beautiful hat and bathing suit and a beach bag and a mat to sit on and her flip flops. So I'm going to go die cut all of these pieces out and I'm going to pick various colors to do that. Some muted orange, some navy blue, and I'm not sure what else. We'll see what else we come up with. And so I'm going to take my dress blues here. This is a technique called swinking. So you just swipe the ink onto the paper. So that part's going to be blue for the blanket. Did I get it long enough? Might have missed a spot over here. Okay, and then this one here is going to be the accent color, which I want in light blue. I actually wanted it the other way around. So oops, let's do that. This is light blue here. This is the one I want light blue and I want the accents in dark blue. Okay. And this can be dark blue and then the other part up here will be yellow and now I'm going to go and cut these out so in order to do that I need to get my mint tape and tape these down in place so that they don't move down real good push it down real good <laughs> all right hopefully that does it Oops, some of my yellow pieces came undone there that's okay so i'm gonna go and cut this piece again out of the navy blue that gives it some of those accent pieces All right, so I have my pieces here. And now I really like that the back of the Spellbinders, it shows you pictures for the blanket. So it's really easy to see where the pieces go because it shows you how it's supposed to look. So I'm just going to follow this as a guide and put my pieces together. Right, so there's my beach blanket done. So as you can see, I have a yellow spot up here, but that's okay because the lady in the bathing suit will be sitting right in the middle and it will cover up that spot. So that's perfectly fine. I quickly realized that I had forgotten to add the fringe to the ends of the blanket. So I just take some glue and put those two ends on and that was perfectly fine. No problem at all to go back after the fact. Then I'm going to do the swinking technique again on the body and the bathing suit. And I start putting the elements of this card together. So once I have my layout sort of planned, I take the hat pieces and get them all put together. 
and the beach blanket with the flip-flops inside. I add dimension to the hat because looking at this scene, the hat will be the closest thing to us. Therefore, popped up a little bit, just made sense to me. So now that I have the majority of that put together, I'm just grabbing a color play pre-made card base. I love these card bases. They are ready to go and so easy to use. The sentiments that I'm using, I have pre-foiled in several colors and I'm just pulling a selection of what I think might fit or a proper sentiment for the feel of this card. And they are by Pink Fresh and they are called Modern Script. And the sentiment that I chose finally settled on was the one that I had there first. It is, you're the best. And so now that I have all of these elements laid out, I need to figure out what to do with this black dark spot here. And so I'm going to pull the seagull die cut. That is from Build a Summer Birdhouse, also by Spellbinders. And I am just laying those birds out in a way that covers up that dot, but also looks kind of random. And I just start gluing the birds and the sentiment down. My choice of glue that I love to use is Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. It has a fine glue tip on it, and in my experience, it rarely clogs. I will link all of the products that I used to create this card down below. If you know me, you know that I love dimension. And so I am adding foam tape to the back of this card. I am putting a generous layer all the way across because of the nature of the spray did warp this panel a little bit. And so having it completely covered on the back makes for a nice flat card in the end. And I am just firmly pressing that down. And you guys, that is the card done. I love how the blanket hangs over the white edge of this card. I love everything about this card. It just came together so easily and is just so beautiful with this gold sparkle. And I also really like up towards the top, I'm not showing it yet here, but I will in a minute. There's some like navy blue sparkle in there. I love it. I love it. I will show a video soon of how I originally made this panel. But for now, I want to remind you guys that I am the Rocky Mountain Crafter. You can find me on all of my socials, which are Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and on my blog at therockymountaincrafter.com. Thank you, my lovelies. Take care and have a lovely week. Bye-bye. <laughs>